going on guys and welcome back to Tactical Talks. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually driving somewhere right now, but I haven't put out a video in two weeks because my baby girl was born, but I wanted to open up a quick little discussion and see what you guys thought of this. Um, I don't ever really watch the news and I definitely don't get into politics and all that stuff, but I was watching the news the other day at my in-laws house and I saw, I can't remember the man's name, but he is the father of... A young lady who was killed in the Parkland uh, mass shootings there in Florida and I was listening to this man talk and I, I hope that I never have to go through what he went through I mean it's just crazy crazy deal but the fact that he's using his voice to to bring awareness to the situation and to try to see what he can do to fix the situation he's not one of these people and I'm not going to name any names or point any fingers, but he's not one of these people who is just saying, ban the guns, ban the guns, expecting or hoping that that's going to fix the issue. This man is talking about, you know, real life things. What can we do to fix the issue? And one of the things that I thought was, was kind of cool was he was talking about after this whole deal and after this tragedy and the loss of his daughter, that he is now pro-gun. You know, he talked about before that he never really had guns. He never, you know, he could really care less about them. And now he's pro-gun. He was saying if somebody had a gun, you know, who wasn't, who didn't have bad intentions, maybe could have done something and stopped that person sooner. Now, there's so many different things that that go into that whole situation that I'm not going to talk about or try to break down or analyze, nothing like that. But the fact that this man is saying that he's pro-gun, I mean, it, it just kind of... I don't want to say it made me feel good, but it, it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that not everybody out there is just against, you know, banning guns. And the other thing that he talked about was like background checks. That's the biggest thing that the media keeps talking about, at least from what I'm hearing. And we need tighter background checks. We need stronger background checks. We need better background checks. We need longer wait periods for people to get guns. And the reality of the situation is if a bad guy wants a gun, bad guy's going to get the gun. We recover stolen guns all day, every day. Guns get stolen from good people, you know, who accidentally left them in their vehicle. Somebody's house got broken into, cars got broken into. There's so many different things that happen that put guns in, in the bad guy's hand that it doesn't matter how hard or how strong you, you work on these background checks, guns are always going to be there, you know. But one thing that he did talk about was prosecuting. We need to make sure that these issues that come up with individuals that are deemed, you know, red flags, somebody having violent tendencies or committing crimes that are not being prosecuted. And he was talking about, you know, in those situations and in the Parkland shooting and others doing a, a background check or even a, a stronger background check wouldn't have changed the outcome of what happened. What he was saying, though, is had the individual, you know, the, the person who went out and, and committed this crime been prosecuted for the things that he had done before you know those things would have come up on a background check and at that time when the background check was conducted then there would have been some red flags then he wouldn't have been able to obtain the gun legally now like i said i don't think that that's going to fix every issue you're going to have multiple issues different ways you know somebody else in the household can be perfect law-abiding citizen they have a gun and then this other individual has a way to end up getting to that gun. So whether or not you did a background check, whether or not they're a good person, because some, you know, because somebody else who is a good person has the gun, I mean, essentially that person can, can end up having it as well. So it's, it's a, a tough conversation. It's a, a crazy tough topic. And I really don't speak on things like this too much, but like I said, after I was watching this man who lost a child talk about what can we do to fix the issue you know and he said probably one of the smartest things that i've heard at least in this whole gun debate um you know second amendment debate he said it himself he's now pro-gun you know it's not the guns that are the problem and so many people harp on that so many people say that and you know you hear those sayings all the time that guns don't kill people people kill people now, people may use guns to kill people, but the gun itself didn't commit the crime, you know, and 
it, it's become such a cliche of like, oh, guns don't kill people, guns don't kill. It, it's just become a joke. The reality is, we need to focus on people. What can we do? One to help people because at, at the end of the day, that really is the main goal is to help people. You know, in doing what I do, whether you're a good guy or bad guy, the goal is to help people. If we can help somebody to not be a bad guy or to not do bad things, that's the goal to ensure that nobody gets hurt. But I think the, the real story here is is prosecuting and I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. I'm not saying there's a lack of anything. I'll let you guys make up your mind as far as that goes. But the reality is there is so much truth in what this man was saying that had these people been prosecuted before and given them, given the attention, I don't want to say that they deserve, but given them the attention that they're seeking in a different manner before it got to, you know, the extreme that it's gotten to, I don't want to say these things could have been prevented, but at least it would have made us a little more aware, you know, at least it's something that maybe we can attempt to fix or or figure out beforehand so let me know what you guys think of that this is a little bit different video I know that I don't have any cool guns in this video I don't have any cool gadgets in this video I'm literally on my way to do something I just got here there's just so much going on in my life right now but I want to keep the the discussion open I want to keep this relevant enough to where we as a community whether it's a YouTube community a gun community just a, a, a people community come together and try to help find a solution for what can we do to help? Stop pointing the finger and saying guns are wrong, guns are bad. Stop sitting here pretending like everybody has a mental illness. And I'm not saying that they don't, but, you know, let, let's stop acting like, oh, they're just sick. There's a problem here. We need to fix the problem. What is the problem and what can we do to fix it? So let me know what you guys think of this video. Thank you guys for watching this and we'll see you next time.